Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes, I have finished traffic on my car and we proceed with the run without any formal communication from ourselves as under police. Our people are going to come through. Okay, now let's see. Yes. I will get you the connection in the police who have one to expect the same. Yes. I'm not in that position to, to answer. What, but what I can advise you, you go and see the officer commanding or the commission of yes. police. My instructions is that I secure this place and I will secure it. So the no, there's no problem no, with you no. we, we respect your no, duty. No. There will be at the moment. Yes. Uh, there will be no right here. And the reason you, being, no, you no, gave us permission no. to hold the run yesterday as in writing and we have that document. No, okay. Unless there's a fresh position Mr. which Mira, we do not have. No, 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 no. that you uh, uh, right have people have who, have so who do we see now? The if they, commanding or the commissioner. So they've given us verbally verbally no, no, I don't know anything what you're talking about. So your, your instructions are just to secure no, the security? Yes, we are saying that the officer commanding, officer commanding keep uh, the, the commissioner, commissioner or you commission. can communicate to headquarters. Why you've given instructions to secure no, this place and social no, spatial? No, no, I'm, we I just want to have I cannot answer time. on the police. I'm not a spokesperson. Okay. We have a hierarchy. We have a procedure like in our organization. Yes. We have a hierarchy. So I cannot answer further than that. I just say you communicate with the headquarters or the commissioner of police in Dola Copa Belt or the OC. They are in the better position to answer all your questions. I am okay. Your name Papa is you want to know my name? Get the I have no problem. I have no problem. You get it from where? Yes. I'm where did you get the pin from? I'm senior superintendent. Malambo. Emmanuel. From where? The deputy copper belt operation officer. Yes, I have a copy of him. Are you are you okay? Yes, we're okay. But just a bit. No, 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 no question. I, I don't answer. It's basically within what is on the table right now. It came from the question. Yeah, that's where you can go. Yes. Where you got the pin from? No further. That's where it should go. Yes. Why have you cancelled this? Yes. You gave us the name. Yes. We don't agree with that position. You, you are the ones who cancelled. You, you are the ones who cancelled. We are not saying. That's what I'm saying. You're the ones who have got the thing yes. no, no, the from. So there's thing. no way that we can just demobilize. I advise you. Back. See, I, I, I did advise you. Mr. That Mula, go to give us a police station. Yes. Yes. There is an yes. officer in charge. Yes. Yes. It's not a big you issue. You know what? It's not a big issue. Let's move aside. We have some internal confrontation. Let's collaborate. Yes. How are we this? We can show you a little. Which confirms? You Which show it. No, 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 I have no problem with that. No, that letter, you show. The council, the council. You know what I'm talking about. You show to the officer in charge. But why don't you talk to somebody who is hiding? You show the challenge. We know one said that. Okay. Do you know what the challenge is? You are mentioning so many names. Okay, no, okay. Who do we see? Because you said that we'll get the permit. Yes, that's where I should go. You gave us this permit. But you told us that the permit is ready. Why are they calling us that your letter of consummation is ready? Yes. So, so God, madam, God, they should have given you this. And what has necessitated it? Yes. Why? 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 Now, on the 11th hour. Those, uh, you are here, you should uh, go. Uh, but you go 
You raised those same questions. Yeah, you got the permit. Yeah, yes. You got the permit. You will be helping. We do not get the permit here. So what time did you get the instruction to come? No, no, madam. No, madam. Get my point. This permit you got from Lagos Police Station. Go there, see the officer in charge. Yes. You give us. But what is that? The floor. They will have given you the floor. We are proceeding there, but our members are coming. That's one thing we can tell. As long as there's no proper and formal communication, and if we still continue this back and forth, our members are going to come and the rally will proceed yeah. as organized and as authorized by the officer. We don't have any no, problem, no, no, no. sir. We, as long as you go to Riverside, yeah. if there, you, are, no, you, are, you, are, you are clear. If you are clear, problem. you have no problem. We didn't say seconds. As you stand now, we are already clear. No, we are yes. standing yes. on the yes. letter yes. that came from okay. yourselves. Even by yourselves. Yes. Yes. Your letter yes. to overrode the previous yes. letter. Yes. Mm. As social respect here on the government, you know, to some extent, I would say, we are disappointed uh, with uh, the type of politics that UPND really want to, 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 to bring, like uh, to, to, to put at play in uh, our country, Zambia. But, uh, you know, to us, what has happened today, the Rokuchanga Namai, you know, it is a plus. It is a plus. And uh, they've seen to say, they've come to know to say, Socialist Party, they can't embow it. Socialist Party is a very big party, and uh, we are a party waiting to form the next government. So this cannot shake us, and uh, it can't even give us shivers, and uh, our target is to destroy them and make sure that uh, we provide the leadership that this country is lacking. So we mean business, and we mean well for this country, Zambia. But these are the same issues that Baka uh, was complaining when he was in opposition. And uh, so what we're trying to say, what we want to, 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 to remind the president Baka in the Kanabesa, just put your house in order. Nothing lasts forever. Where you are there, you should know to say political power is temporal. Thank you. Viva Copa Beot Viva Abashu Mwenzo Abash Abashu Kutina Abash Ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, we just want to first of all thank you for coming, those that came in numbers to attend our rally, which the police at the last time, at the last minute, decided to come and disrupt. A socialist party will remain resolute, will remain focused on what we want to do. We want to save the people of Zambia with respect and dignity, including the police officers that are abused today. A socialist party are providing leadership and an alternative. A Scopa Belt province, we will continue mobilizing the party and we are appealing to all of you to come and join the party that has got direction, the party that has got a, you know, a stable leadership, the party that has got a vision to change our lives. This is not a setback. For us, this is a stepping stone to greater heights. And they will see a lot from us. Not violence, but pure, clear leadership, visionary leadership. Allow me at this point in time, without wasting time, to call upon the General Secretary of the party to come and address us and give us exactly what has happened today and what the, the Social Party will move or will do in the next few days. Thank you so much. Right there. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me acknowledge the presence of my president, uh, Comrade Fred Membe, despite knowing that uh, the rally was given the go-ahead late in the night, we have made it to Kitwe. We appreciate that and the agency, the priority which you gave to this rally. So again, thanks very much to our president. I also take cognizance of members of the press that are gathered here. You were ready to be with us today. You accompanied us at Changanamai, but unfortunately we find ourselves back at our secretariat on the Copper Belt, simply because we are dealing with a government that's fearful, a government that cannot take facts, a government that has failed Zambians. And our duty now here is to narrate to you the proceedings, what happened as soon as the leaders on the Copper Belt had applied, or rather had not fired for a rally. This was two weeks ago. So two weeks ago, 
our leaders on the Copper Belt notified the police of the intentions to hold a rally at Changanamai grounds. And what happened was that on the 3rd of June, we got a refusal. They basically told us that the security situation in the country is volatile, Kitwe included. And because of that, this rally was not going to go ahead. We sat as the leadership of the party, looked at that, and we came to the conclusion this is a huge infringement on our rights. And as political parties, we have to speak to the masses. A very good way that you speak to the masses is with rallies. And being refused that is basically being told you are not going to participate politically. And that's unacceptable. This country is not for one party. This country is not for a kind alone. This country is for all Zambians. Rallies are an integral part of the dialogue between politicians and the people of Zambia. And the Socialist Party deserves also the chance to speak to Zambians. Fred Membe deserves the chance also as an incoming president of this country to speak to Zambians. Mm -hmm. His views must be heard. Solutions that he's putting around must be heard to the Zambians. He must also listen to the Zambians and he does that every day. So we challenge that refusal. We made an appeal on the 7th in the afternoon to the Minister of Home Affairs and Internal Security. We told him this is unacceptable, it's unfair, and the rally should go ahead. Still yesterday, exactly at 21.30, the police at Riverside reversed their decision. They told us that you are advised to ignore the earlier reply. Therefore, your rally should go ahead as planned. That's in black and white. So we're given the go ahead to hold the rally. The leadership in Lusaka from 2130, they started traveling up to here. We are all here, we are all gathered here. We are all ready for the rally. Buses were trooping in from different parts of the Copper Belt. The people wanted to hear their president speak. The people finally thought since 2021, finally there's going to be a rally for an opposition political party. To our surprise, early in the morning, the whole ground was secured. We were not allowed to mount our stage. We were not allowed to erect our tents. Nothing was allowed. We had hundreds of policemen and police women that had gathered there and they took charge of that ground. Our team, especially the legal team, has tried hard to engage the police. They always referred our legal team to the riverside police station because that's where the go ahead was granted. To our dismay, all the senior police officers at Riverside has bas had basically withdrawn. They bolted. They left the police station. Their phones are switched off. So on the one hand, you are told you can't hold your rally. On the other hand, you are denied any possibility <coughs> to be given reasons or even given written notice of why you can't go ahead and hold that rally. That's the dilemma that we found ourselves in today. And again, the question that should be asked is why? Why is this happening? Since 2021, again, we have not had an opposition political party being allowed to hold a rally. Why is it happening? I think the simple word is in Salah. There's hunger in the country. It's not just the fear of the opposition political parties, but it's the fear of own failures. It's a failed government. It's a failed regime. And because it has failed to address the material needs of the people, 
is resorting to political intimidation, is resorting to suppression of critical voices. So the voice of Fred Membe should not be heard. Even his picture should not be seen anywhere because of Insala. People are angry and people are hungry. When people are hungry, they become angry. All Zambians everywhere you go today, they are very, very hungry and they are angry. It has nothing to do with climate change and all that. We knew about that. They could have done something against it. They failed to do so. This is a government of lies, of promises, but she promised. That's a real situation that is faced there. Mm -hmm. So what does a rally do? A rally allows Freddie Membe to communicate to the Zambians and give hope to the Zambians. And that's what they don't want. Mm -hmm. They are basically destroying that hope, stopping that hope, stopping him from addressing this nation. The other reason is corruption. It's not only that they are not, that they are failing this country in terms of food, but they are corrupt. We have said it over and over. The, pre the previous governments were like pickpockets. They were stealing from the budget. These ones are basically stealing your country. They are stealing the national assets. They are selling themselves the companies, your strategic companies, they are taking them. So what does that mean? The big pocket, when they lose power, they lose the money. The one who buys the assets of your country, even when they lose power, they still control you. These are worse than any other government that we've ever had before. Viva socialism, viva! Viva! Viva Fred Membe, viva! Viva! Viva Cosmos Musumari, viva! Viva! And that's why they can't allow the voice of Fred Membe to be heard by millions of Zambians. That's the real reason behind it. But, Rene, you can't resolve in Salah with stopping Fred Membe from talking. You can't deal with corruption by stopping Fred Membe from talking. Because it's not just Fred Membe. Fred Membe is a spokesperson, is a voice of the masses that are suffering. The masses are going to talk. 2026 is near. And your bunch, your group, be aware of this. You, are st you have stopped us today from holding this rally. But we are not stopping. Yes. This is a battle of ideas, a battle of emotions with the Zambian people, and we we'll carry this forward from here. Mm -hmm. So for us, that rally has begun, and every day, from today onwards, we will be in rallies everywhere. Mm -hmm. We'll use every opportunity available to ensure that the Zambians get to know the truth. Yes. Yes. And we're also taking legal action. The legal proceedings are starting immediately. Thank you very much again for your understanding. Thank you very much, uh, colleagues. Thank you, citizens who are watching us, streaming live from the various platforms that uh, are here today. And uh, let us keep the fire burning. Like the Secretary General said, the battle, the revolution has just started. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.